Johnson. Uh, let me play you this clip from Ursula von der Leyen. I'm sure you'll be familiar with who she is. Take a listen. Speaking of this European Union, do you believe that Britain could ever rejoin this European Union? That's Britain. Britain. Uh, who? Who? <laughs> it's a small country with an ambassador city right there. Uh, it's a small pirate island off the coast of uh, France. Uh, UK. United Kingdom. Could it rejoin the European Union? Ambassador. <laughs> so, Ambassador, you, you know my position. First of all, thanks God, with the Windsor Agreement, we had a new beginning for old friends. Very important. And then I must say, I keep telling my children, you have to fix it. We goofed it up. You have to fix it. Mm. So, uh, I think here, too, the direction of travel, my personal opinion, is clear. Oh, how they laugh at the hilarious gags about how insignificant we are here. Um, the young people, do you think they should get a chance for a future referendum, Alec? Well, she's certainly right that they goofed it up. And if by they, they mean the Remain campaign and the EU, which, of course, gave David Cameron so little in his renegotiation that they couldn't really uh, boast that they'd achieved something substantive uh, when he came uh, back to the UK, then she's spot on to say that they, they goofed it up. But I... I so on, and I would, were we to have such a referendum, I would vote no. I wouldn't want to, to rejoin the EU. But I may surprise you on the principle of having one. I'm not against that really at all, in, in as much as I think it's much more intellectually honest than what we've had uh, happening a, over time uh, in this country since our referendum. The intellectually and morally dishonest approach is to try to undermine the decision that we took and take us in without having another vote. And plenty of people tried to do that. Indeed, that was the explicit electoral position of the Liberal Democrats at the last election. B words Brexit, just go in again and not have a referendum. Uh, and uh, I, I hate to point it out to them, but they didn't form government after the last election. So the, the intellectually respectable position is to campaign to rejoin. And if people want to do it, whilst I'd never embrace it, they're perfectly entitled to. Kevin? Well, I would just simply say that um, Ursula von der Leyen can, can have her opinions. Um, there are a few things to point out. Um, the opinion poll evidence is very clear that amongst young people, they are very strongly in favour of the country rejoining the EU. Um, I don't see us doing that as a country anytime soon. The Labour Party is very keen to uh, move on from the divisions of the discussions around Brexit. Um, there's a very interesting quote, you know, the, a Labour government, were they to have the privilege of being elected, wants a good working relationship with the EU. But there's not going to be any vote uh, again anytime soon because the, the, the British people, wherever you were on the subject, had their opinion and they made that decision. And it's a bit like not rerunning the Scottish referendum, which I think would be a disaster. That's right. You know? In, in the next election, no chance. Because you know. both, neither of them are main... And Labour's position now, now, is admirably clear. Uh, not rejoining single market, not rejoining customs union, not returning to freedom of movement. That means you can't rejoin the EU. So uh, Ursula von der Leyen, at least in the next parliament, whoever formed government, is whistling Dixie. Uh, Simon says, Michelle, we had pretty much 40 years inside of the EU before we voted out. So therefore, in his uh, mind, he says we should not have another referendum until we've had at least 40 years outside of the EU. Uh, Evan says, to be honest, Michelle, I consider myself to be young. I'm 26. I voted leave and I'll do exactly the same thing again. Mm -hmm. This sentiment that young people, uh, all kind of Remainers, uh, would be challenged, I suspect. Um, Philip says, if Labour win the next election, we will definitely be back in the EU. I mean, but Philip's entitled to his view, but it's absolutely not um, what uh, Keir Starmer is putting forward to the country. You know, um, wherever you were on the debate of, uh, to leave the EU, the British people made their decision. And unlike old Nigel Farage, who said, if it's close, run it again, you know, which I'll keep mentioning until uh, it gets too boring, that's not the proposition, you know. So, Philip, I'm sorry, you know, the, the, Keir Starmer said, let's move on. And by the way, it's Philip saying it about Labour. A lot of people yeah. will say now because David Cameron has now got back into the Tory party in a very key role. Uh, he was, of course, uh, many would say, publicly a prominent Remainer. 
So therefore, many people say that actually the Tories would be trying to get us back into the EU. No chance. The Conservative Party um, will not be trying to take us back into uh, the European Union. The Prime Minister, who was a Brexiteer, by the way, um, is uh, specifically against it, and our membership is completely against it. But the thing to, re to remember here now is the thing that Kevin's been pointing out, and, and is absolutely right. Labour's position is against it. And if um, your viewer thinks uh, that, that Labour would take us back in, he would have to believe that the Labour Party is lying on such a gargantuan gantuan level now. And actually, I as a Conservative don't believe that. I think it's corrosive to go around saying people are, are being disingenuous or dishonest. Um, I, I ha Keir Starmer and co are people I happen to dis disagree with profoundly on many issues. I wouldn't vote for them. But I don't think they're lying. It might be harsh uh, to think that people are disingenuous or lying in politics, but I suspect that many of my viewers will be screaming at the screen now saying we do think that, Michelle, because of the track record of the people uh, that we have in power. What do they promise us versus what do they deliver us? We started off this programme, didn't we, talking about net migration. I'm sure that in the Tory manifesto it was something like, we'll get it down to a quarter of a million. Here we are now at 745,000. Uh, but there you go. I'm sure you'll have strong opinions on that.